All right, Reese, what do you got for me? What's the what's the fucking thing? Tell me. You dragged me away from a conversation with a photographer and, and, and two women at a at a bar with wind with wine and uh, now I'm gonna just tell me. What is it? Tell me. Well, I, I hate to pull you away from that, but this is way sexier and uh, more cultured. It's uh, we're talking about the Republic right. of Indian Stream, which was um, a country that existed de- for three years uh, between the border of New Hampshire and Quebec. Sounds incredibly boring. Tell me more. It's not. Yay! Just climb down, baby. For, for, for capita export value. Library. I mean, so you embarrassed by your behavior today? There's, there's a lot of bleeding hearts around. Do you have the fortitude or the gonads to stand up and come across here and say that to me, you son of a bitch? Just watch me. He certainly went too far, Mr. Speaker, when he st- I saw him stick his tongue out. Contemptuous disregard. More than a slab of bacon talking here. The disappointment you also feel is my responsibility. I lost my temper. What is the nature of your thoughts? The word was F-A-R-T. Hello, welcome to Canadian Politics is Boring. My name is Reese Waters, and with me live from Italy is Jesse Harley. Hello, live from Volcano Island, literally called Volcano Island. Now, it's it's spelled differently. It's Volcano instead of Volcano. But uh, yeah. It, sound, it uh, sounds like a children's novel, Escape from Volcano Island. Volcano Island, yeah. It's about uh, a brother uh, it's, and it's... sister who go and stay with an eccentric scientist uncle um, in the Caribbean. <laughs> to next vol- to... Uh, Yes, yes, that's exactly, and and that's, it, that's exactly what we're doing. And there's some international Running. spies invade. Is, is that kind of what happened? And the kids <laughs> fight back? Yep. Uh, it's remarkable how accurate you've been portraying our adventures so far in Italy. Well, I've been to um, Italy before, so I know, I know what it's like. Right. It's yeah. cold here, Reese. It's cold here, and it's your fault, because you told me to come, and it's fucking cold. It's not it's cold. Not as cold as Canada? What, what's the temperature? It's like, I don't know, 10, 8 degrees, something. It's chilly. When I took my kids to school yesterday and they were arguing that they didn't need to wear their coats, it was minus 13. Jesus. All right. Uh, I smell farts everywhere because of sulfur, because it's an active volcano and it's uh, God's, surrounded by fart God's farts. Fucking fuck, that smells horrible. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> God's. I got to turn around. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. There might be some wind. I'm sorry. I got to get. Oh, oh, it's so gross. You're really uh, selling the Italian uh, the Italian tourist board. Are really going to love this? Come. I have to breathe through my mouth, Reese. It's so gross. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just like him. Imagine the worst fart you've ever smelled, but you can't escape it. It's everywhere. Oh. Okay. Breathing through should, my mouth. Maybe, breathing through my mouth. Maybe they should call it Fart Island. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been taking Italian lessons. How's, how's it going? Uh, slowly, just uh, okay. I, you know, I suck. I've only been doing it for like a few days. Um, I can order a cappuccino. Cool. Uh, I have I have rei un cappuccino di caffeinato per favore. Yeah. Uh, or uh, or voglia. Uh, voglia is the less formal way of saying I want, which is kind of neat, I think. That's yeah. Nice. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did. I did order a cappuccino after 11 a.m. and uh, he sneered at me. So what, Jesse, later... just does not couth at all. Nobody. It's orders, not at all. You can. Nobody you can... orders a coffee with milk in it after lunch or after late. It's, so it's just specifically cappuccinos. You can order an espresso. You can order a, a latte, I guess, but not a cappuccino. Yeah. Very it's weird. A breakfast coffee. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, uh, teach me something boring. <laughs> You're not going to ask about my life. You get to have an STD. No, zone. fuck you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Tell me about life in uh, beautiful tropical Canada. Actually, yeah. The, the colder the stories, the better. It'll make me feel better about being. Okay. Here. Well, this is this is a very Canadian story. So I walked Rosie to the end of my neighborhood, which is, goes as far and as deep into the forest as possible. And when I got to the end, I could hear this horrible howling and screeching. And I realized that we'd, <gasps> you sent me a video for that. That was amazing. We'd, we'd stumbled on a pack of coyotes or coy wolves, whichever one, maybe a mixture of the two. Um, kind of, I, I think they must have like been tearing something apart. And it was a full moon, perfectly clear sky. So I was like, hey, Rosie, she go home. Oh, my God. So anyway, 
That's, wow. That's my small so, talk. <laughs> no, I love it. That's I saw the video. You sent me the video. It was incredible. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll post terrifying. the sound on one of the Instagram the Instagram feed or something. But it's like just the howling and the screeching is. And I sent it to people in the UK, and I was going, "Look, I found Bigfoot," and they were like, "That sounds like an <laughs> like, it's, it's coyote." So, <laughs> it's like, proof, solid proof. Bigfoot's real. Yes. Uh, so I was going to go climb a volcano, but it's cold and it's misty now and the sun is behind many many clouds and almost fuck so instead i think i'm just gonna go we, we met a photographer who's prouncing around shooting volcanoes with a large format camera and a hasselblad camera and we'll see what happens we'll see what the night brings cool great so <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay cool who knows where that'll go anyway so uh, you've never heard of i'm guessing you've never heard of the republic of indian stream I have not. Of Indian Stream? Indian Stream. No. It existed from July the 9th, 1832 to August the 5th, 1835. So pretty much three years. Okay. And it was, there, were, right. there were only 300 people who lived there. Okay, where was it? It was. If you want to enjoy us and support the show and enjoy the rest of the content we have on Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash Canadian Politics is Boring, where we have hours and hours and hours of episodes that you have never heard before and that you can go and enjoy. We also enjoy having fun with our patrons, share links, funny stuff that's going on that we don't necessarily put on our public feeds too. So we hope you will join us there and support the show. But if that's not for you, we'll still be back next week with a free episode. 